Hello, this is Alexander Cross, Criminal Defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area. If you'd like to learn more about criminal defense, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comment section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos for you. So we received an interesting inquiry here on our YouTube channel. This has to do with uh, making a false domestic violence report to the police. Let's see here. My girlfriend's children called the police saying that I hit their mom. When the police arrived, my girlfriend told them that it was not true. They then proceeded to show the police pictures from the past when I had punched uh, her. They, there were bruises on her arms, but this time I only pushed her. Well, here's the issue. See, here in the state of California, uh, there are two versions of uh, domestic violence. There's misdemeanor domestic violence and there's felony domestic violence. You can be charged with a felony domestic violence if there is any kind of traumatic condition on, uh, you know, on the physical uh, you know, body of the victim. Uh, and if these pictures are less than three years old, the statute of limitations would not have expired on those old domestic violence occurrences and you could be charged with a violation of Penal Code Section 273.5 based on those pictures for domestic violence, which carries up to four years state prison. Now, the one thing you don't want to do is tell the police, oh, well, this time I didn't hit her, this time I didn't punch her, this time I just pushed her. Well, it's not a good thing because you're still going to be charged with a misdemeanor domestic violence under Penal Code Section 243, parentheses E, parentheses 1, which carries up to one year in county jail plus having to take domestic violence classes for one year. Remember your Miranda rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do will be used against you in court. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, you will be, um, a public defender will be uh, assigned to your case. So it's extremely important to just exercise those Miranda rights because it sounds like this is a situation where you might end up uh, shooting yourself in the foot. Remember, the police have the right to lie to you. They have the right to deceive you in order to get information from you. They can lie to you about the law. They can tell you, look, sir, um, if you just pushed her, that's perfectly legal. That's okay. We're not going to arrest you for that. But if you punched her, uh, that's illegal and we're going to arrest you. So which one of these two did you do? Now, keep in mind, you're nervous. So, you know, especially if you did it, you're probably going to be like, oh, well, yeah, I didn't punch her. I just, uh, I just pushed her a little bit. Oh, sorry. We lied to you. That's also illegal. We're going to arrest you now. So keep in mind your Miranda rights, and please do not handle these cases on your own because it sounds like, based on the question you're asking, it sounds like you might put yourself in a worse spot than you had before, that you had been in before. Regardless, if you'd like to learn more about criminal defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comment section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos for you. But if you've been accused of a crime here in the San Francisco Bay Area and need representation in court, call us now for a free consultation at 1-800-862-7677. Once again, one 800 862 7677. On our next video, we're going to be discussing the case of somebody who um, got accused of a battery, but it was self-defense. Criminal lawyer, criminal lawyers, DUI lawyer, DUI lawyers, criminal attorney, criminal attorneys, DUI attorney, DUI attorneys.